Hey there, Alex Kidman here. And once again, I am trying to do an unboxing of a Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe box set. It's three weeks since I last tried to do this, and that's been three weeks in which I've been trying to get a replacement set. I'll leave a link here to my prior unboxing, which let's just say did not go well. Specifically, there was a missing disc, and my goodness, the runaround that I have had trying to get a replacement set out of Warner Music Australian merch fan. It's been catastrophic. Uh, I'll also leave a link into my write-up about that whole process, just in case anyone else has to go through that. I'm really hoping that they don't. But the reality here is I did my prior unboxing on a bit of a whim. I'm not doing this one on a whim. I'm doing this one for insurance because I don't really trust them anymore, which is unfortunate, really, because this was a luxury buy. It's certainly not inexpensive. And it was one of those things I was really looking forward to. And I still am, to a very extent. I still want the thing. But it's just that little bit tarnished. Um, one good note I will say is you might notice there's just a little bit of sticker residue here. They did still stick an address label on the outside of the Pearl's packaging here. But I was able to get to it and it just peeled off a whole lot more neatly than on the first one. This still remains in reasonable sort of condition. But of course, I'm going to open it, so it's no longer going to be <gasps> mint in box if you care about such things. As with all of my unboxings, I just do this stuff ad hoc. So if I sneeze or whatever, or if the phone rings, then there may be a brief pause. But what I'm really doing here is just hoping, 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 hoping that I'm not going to end up with another one with a missing disc, because that really sucked. Did get some interesting feedback from the Prince community on this one, though. A few people a bit befuddled as to the cost of this thing. And yes, it's an indulgence. I'm not going to even going to pretend that it's not. I think we all have our indulgences. Uh, and at least one person who had a problem with their Blu-ray. Feel for that person. Not great. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to spin this around. Sorry for the weird camera moves, but I am just doing this ad hoc. And I promise you I'm not doing anything otherwise trickery with it. This is largely just to cover me just in case something else has gone wrong. But... Yep, Prince of the New Power Generation, Diamonds and Pearls. As I've previously noted, it's quite a decent album, not 100% my favourite, 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 but that side of the times, and I've already done that as a special edit. Yes, of course, I've got that. So that's all good. We are still shrink-wrapped. We have the listing. In fact, I'm just going to get the packaging out of the way there for a second. I have the listing there, which I might zoom in on a little bit, uh, of all the things that are meant to be in the box. That was CD2, Single Mixes and Edits Remastered, which was not in the box last time. Let's see how lucky I can get. Well, I should not hit the camera like that, but as I said, I'm just doing this ad hoc. I'm not making any apologies for that because what I'm really trying to do here is just make sure that it's the right thing this time so I can actually get down to listening to it, to enjoying the thing that I've paid my money for. Again, I note the Australian copies do not have the kind of belly band thing for keeping this back slip on, which is unusual. Whoop, hang on, we're trying to escape the box already. So I'm to get a vision of where my CD2 might have gone in the first place. Because if this is, as Julia Roberts once put it, a slippery little sucker. I'm just going to put the plastic to one side, and I'm also going to put the slip, which is quite nice, to one side as well. And then we can remove the box slipcase bit. All right. So this is the point at which either I get very excited and very happy or my heart breaks. So we have here first, of course, the book. And I know already from unboxing the other one, that the book should have a Blu-ray in the back. Let's see. Okay, that's looking decent. I'm hoping that they're all going to work, but that is the Blu-ray. And like I said, I'm not taking any chances. Yes, there is a disc in there. And the book itself is nice. Lots of really nice photos. Obviously, a lot of text talking about Prince as a musician and less of the, shall we say, controversial stuff. But uh, though this is a really nice thing to have and certainly a good reason in itself to be picking up the premium set. Now, here's where my nerves kick in because I'm really hoping there's not a missing disc here. And the answer is there is not. Ah, oh, I am very, very happy about that. Nice poster and lyrics there, but we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven discs, and that's the sucker that was not in the prior set. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I can now actually get on to listening to these properly. And yes, I do have physical media, and yes, I know it's on streaming services and so on if one is a music streaming subscriber, but I also like to own my music. Um, I think you'll find Prince was that way inclined too. So 
without further ado, that's actually what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm just really happy that that has actually turned up properly, even though, my goodness, it took a fight to get it. Thanks for watching.